All hey, right. uh, are you are you able to see this rake wall that I've got displayed here? Yep. Okay, this is just a standard uh, rake wall. In this case, it's a five and twelve pitch. The roof the roof assembly is a five and twelve. Okay. And what I have displayed here is uh, just an ordinary way a treatment of, of how a rake wall like this might be done. Okay, you see how the heel stand of this rafter here is? Yep. The 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 heel this what we call a stand is the vertical distance from the seat cut of this rafter from that point of intersection right there vertical straight up. Okay. okay. So then, if we make our rake wall to where it is held down purposely to miss these little lookouts that that project out. Right. And that's the length. Then our first stud there is designed for that purpose. It's designed specifically to hold that down correctly. But once we know the first one, then any of the rest of them are easy to get just using our basic arithmetic that we've always been talking about here i'm gonna i'm gonna kick on the calculator here all right show me the magic <clears throat> all right so now watch this let's let's say we want to know let's say we want to know what it is to this one you see this this wall here is off layout right because it's a king stud for the window. Okay, so what if I take this king stud for the window, and then the other one is the is the first stud, and let's just copy them out here so that we can grab them real easy. Perfect. All right, now let's just measure what it is from this one to this one. Okay, well, Five foot nine is what that happens to be. So if you ask me how much you add to the height of this one to get the height of this one, five foot nine is the same as 69 inches. Okay, right? so we have our run. You got your run, and all you need is your rise. Okay. So, six, so 69 inches, how many feet is that? Well, divide it by 12. 5.75 feet. So what's our rise? Well, it's a 5 and 12. So the rise is 28.75. If we add 28.75 inches to the length of that one, we'll have the length of that one. And the same thing works for any time you're you're trying to establish the height of anything. You simply find the horizontal distance covered, and you and you take whatever that whatever that is, whatever you measure from point to point, you take that and you ask yourself the question: How many feet is that in decimal form? Well, we took 69 inches. We divided it by 12, and then we took that, and we times it by five. It's a five and 12 pitch, yeah. Okay. And 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 that it's that simple. So if I if I want to establish beam heights, or post heights, or anything, the same technique works. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Glenn. All right. I'll see ya.